Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Gento. This is my NBA 2K14 My Career Wish List. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's much better to just separate what I would like to see in each game mode instead of cramming everything into one because I don't think no developer is going to want to sit through a 40 minute video just to get ideas all the way at the end of that 40 minute video for some My Career info, right? So, alright, let's get to it. First off, I believe each time you finish a season, you should get like a higher overall which increases your caps and attributes and so on, making it harder to become a 99 in your first season. Think of it like prestiging from Call of Duty. So each time you finish a season, you prestige which gives you better attributes and so on. Because look, LeBron's first year, he was an 80. My player is maxed out now, but my passing will never, ever, ever be a 99, no matter what. So that's a downfall for me, right? New hairstyles. We should have the luxury of much better options. Most hairstyles are poorly done. Take the natural waves. I had to stop rocking the natural waves because there's no hairline, and the waves aren't even 360. I like to see 360 waves, hot tops, fades, designs. If a current player is rocking a design, like let's say someone like Brandon Jennings, he's known for designs. I should be able to also, right? New tattoos. For as long as I can remember, we have had the same tattoos in each 2K game. I doubt there's been any thought into adding more, but tattoos are demanding. A large majority of people in the NBA are tatted, so why can't my player have sleeves like Monte? Or at least get hand tattoos like Derrick Rose? A crib feature. I think the crib feature should upgrade as your my player's salary or VC increases. Think back to Madden 06. I believe it was Madden 06 when they had that superstar mode. You start off as, I guess, a rookie in the apartment, and then as soon as you become that superstar, you get that mansion. That would be dope to see in a my career. The My Player Closet could possibly be replaced by the My Player Crib, and inside the crib will be the closet where he customizes himself. Bring back the play of the game from, I believe, 2K8, but make it plays of the week for My Career Mode. I would love to see the NBA.com tab get improved. By adding that plays of the week, NBA.com would have so much more purpose actual commercials and clips from movie night and etc after each quarter along with endorsement commercials adding those endorsement commercials in 2k13 was a great start but it can be expanded you can push it more and i believe you can it'll be so much more better it would look so much more realistic to have that this one i believe should have been in my career mode the option to change jerseys. I understand you want to skip that menu to not only save time, but to make sure someone doesn't let their second controller play. If that's the case, just create a new menu or let us select it in the My Crib feature and definitely add black socks. <laughs> it's no need for me to wear my home jersey, which is white, or my away jersey that's black with white socks. So why not let us have black socks? Let us choose. I believe in 2K11 we were able to choose, right? We need the option to skip as many games as needed. I know you could do it when you're injured, but what if I'm not injured? What if I just want to hurry up and get to the All-Star Weekend? Maybe I want to redeem myself for losing. So why not just let me skip my way up to the All-Star Game? Or let me skip my way to the next season because, hey, I want to hurry up and get that prestige I want to increase my attributes my caps so hey why not we need more crossovers more ankle breakers and the ankle breakers need to be precisely timed there's been several occasions where I went back to the replay mode to see a sick ankle breaker that I've done but before I do it before I execute that ankle breaker the guy's already sliding it's crazy more signature skills huh I said this in the previous video that the one-man army, that signature skill that allows you to adapt 
Because remember, Gatorade is only for one quarter, your first quarter. So after that, it's dead. So with that one-man army, you can go ahead and switch that out for something that's very much needed. Like, hey, closer. Or a lockdown defender. Facial hair detail needs to improve. It always looks like it's just painted on. On-court and off-court interviews and press conferences. Actually, instead of having the same press conference every game, why not just go ahead and rotate it? One game, we are selected to have a on-court post-game interview, or sometimes we may even have that that interview where we have the headset and we're just talking to someone from NBA TV. That's very realistic in my eyes. Along with custom animations, your my player should be able to get his own animation for when he pulls off a big dunk, a clutch three, or any other big play. I actually pitched this idea to LD2K when we were watching the game, and he said, hey, he's all for it, so we may be seeing that. VC, online or offline? If played offline, it should synchronize the next time you get online. Or better yet, VC should be used to buy things like booster packs for my team and accessories for your my player and skill points should be used to increase your skill. And when you buy a certain pack, not only would it give you a better player, it should have a random amount of skill points in there. Because that's the whole thing, like, look at Madden 13. Your XP is for your connected career guy and your coins are used for your packs. But I know some people want to go ahead and raise their stuff as fast as possible. That's why I pitched that idea of having that that possibility of having your skill points in a pack. Better teammate AI in passing. If the AI on the other team can play at an insane level, why can't my teammates play the same? Why can't my teammates react to rebounds? They definitely need improvement. And passing is still not at its peak. Passing could still improve and I would love to see that fixed. I know you see me dunking my ass off, but in 2K14, we need new and better dunks. I know you see me doing my thing, but it can really get repetitive. And contact dunks need to be contact dunks. That contact layup where you just force it in needs to be removed and replaced with a actual power dunk because also I hate when I go up for a dunk and then I get glitched into an animation where next thing you know I'm doing a layup that shouldn't happen I should either throw it down or I should get hung that's what I'm going with coaching decisions need to be improved I was balling hard shooting over 78 percent and also I think if you're actually blowing them out you should be able to sub yourself out just to show sportsmanship also, to add on to the My Crib feature, we should be able to showcase awards and endorsements we gained from My Career, and we should be able to get unlockables for doing well in crew mode, such as better arenas, uniforms, sleeves, etc. That way, there's somewhat of a ranking system in crew mode. Black top should be up to 5v5 full court, so if I want to 1v1 somebody, let me do it. I don't see why not. We should be able to switch between Nike or Jordan. Hell, let us switch between Nike, Jordan, or even Adidas if we want to. And signing should give us more VC. I love the whole concept that people who sign with Jordan get a certain amount of exclusive endorsements and people that sign from Nike get endorsements that people from Jordan can't get. So I think they should bring that back along with some brand new endorsements. Well, this is my NBA 2K14 My Career wish list. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a rating. It helps out a lot. If you have anything else to add on to this, please leave a comment. I'm reading every single comment. Hopefully, the devs get a chance to watch this, and I'm pretty sure they're going to read every single comment. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Till next time. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Gento. What are you waiting for? Follow me on Twitter. There's no reason not to.